For a man to conquer himself is the first and noblest of all victories. The greatest wealth is to live content with little. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. If women are expected to do the same work as men, we must teach them the same things. You can discover more about a person in an hour, a play than in a year of conversation. Wise men speak because they have something to say, fools because they have to say something. Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a harder battle. I am the wisest man alive, for I know one thing, and that is that I know nothing. Music is a moral law, it gives soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination and charm and gaiety to life and to everything. Good people do not need laws to tell them to act responsibly, while bad people will find a way around the laws. The beginning is the most important part of the work. Love is a serious mental disease. Courage is knowing what not to fear. Opinion is the medium between knowledge and ignorance. The first and greatest victory is to conquer yourself. To be conquered by yourself is of all things most shameful and vile. We are twice armed if we fight with faith. For a man to conquer himself is the first and noblest of all victories. The empty vessel makes the loudest sound. Human behavior flows from three main sources, desire, emotion, and knowledge. Love is the joy of, could the wonder of, the wise, the amazement of the gods. A good decision is based on knowledge and not on numbers. Astronomy compels the soul to look upwards and leads us from this world to another. The measure of a man is what he does with power. A hero is born among a hundred a wise man is found among a thousand but an accomplished one might not be found even among a hundred thousand men. Every heart sings a song incomplete until another heart whispers back. Those who wish to sing always find a song. At the touch of a lover everyone becomes a poet. Science is nothing but perception. Ignorance, the root and stem of all evil. There are two things a person should never be angry at, what they can help and what they cannot. When the mind is thinking, it is talking to itself. Thinking, the talking of the soul with itself. Music is the movement of sound to reach the soul for the education of its virtue. Honesty is for the most part less profitable than dishonesty. Courage is a kind of salvation. Necessity, the mother of invention. There are three classes of men lovers of wisdom, lovers of honor, and lovers of gain. Life must be lived as play. Wisdom alone is the science of other sciences. He who commits injustice is ever made more wretched than he who suffers it. Rhetoric is the art of ruling the minds of men. Nothing in the affairs of men is worthy of great anxiety. Let parents bequeath to their children not riches, but the spirit of reverence. 
Attention to health is life's greatest hindrance. The man who makes everything that leads to happiness depends upon himself and not upon other men has adopted the very best plan for living happily. This is the man of moderation, the man of manly character and of wisdom. It is right to give every man his due. Better a little which is well done than a great deal imperfectly. No one is a friend to his friend who does not love in return. He who is of calm and happy nature will hardly feel the pressure of age, but to him who is of an opposite disposition, youth and age are equally a burden. Justice in the life and conduct of the state is possible only as first it resides in the hearts and souls of the citizens. Knowledge becomes evil if the aim be not virtuous. Ignorance of all things is an evil neither, terrible nor excessive, nor yet the greatest of all but great cleverness and much learning, if they be accompanied by a bad training are a much greater misfortune. If a man neglects education, he walks lame to the end of his life. If a man neglects education, he walks lame to the end of his life. There is no harm in repeating a good thing. The most virtuous are those who content themselves with being virtuous without seeking to appear so. The direction in which education starts a man will determine his future in life. The learning and knowledge that we have is, at the most, but little compared with that of which we are ignorant. Death is not the worst that can happen to men. For good nurture and education implant good constitutions. Apply yourself both now and in the next life without effort. You cannot be prosperous though the land be good. You cannot have an abundant crop without cultivation. Tyranny naturally rises out of democracy. Knowledge without justice ought to be called cunning rather than wisdom. He who steals a little steals with the same wish as he who steals much but with less power. Twice and thrice over, as they say, good is it to repeat and review what is good. He who is not a good servant will not be a good master. Truth is the beginning of every good to the gods and of every good to man. They certainly give very strange names to diseases. The blame is his who chooses. God is blameless. Wonder is the feeling of the philosopher and philosophy begins in wonder. We do not learn and what we call learning is only a process of recollection. And what, Socrates, is the food of the soul? Surely, I said, knowledge is the food of the soul. Any man may easily do harm, but not every man can do good to another. Knowledge which is acquired under compulsion obtains no hold on the mind. No man should bring children into the world who is unwilling to persevere to the end in their nature and education. To love rightly is to love what is orderly and beautiful in an educated and disciplined way. Poets utter great and wise things which they do not themselves understand. I have hardly ever known a mathematician who was capable of 
reasoning. The wisest have the most authority. It is a common saying in everybody's mouth that life is but a sojourn. No one knows whether death which people fear to be the greatest evil may not be the greatest good. I would fain grow old learning many things. The most important part of education is proper training in the nursery. The community which has neither poverty nor riches will always have the noblest principles. Those who intend on becoming great should love neither themselves nor their own things, but only what is just, whether it happens to be done by themselves or others. Philosophy is the highest music. The God's service is tolerable, man's intolerable. Knowledge is true opinion. The eyes of the soul of the multitudes are unable to endure the vision of the divine. Hardly any human being is capable of pursuing to professions or to arts rightly. The good is the beautiful. Philosophy begins in wonder. We ought to esteem it of the greatest importance that the fictions which children first hear should be adapted in the most perfect manner to the promotion of virtue. No evil can happen to a good man either in life or after death. Man is a wingless animal with defeat and flat nails. There is no such thing as a lover's oath. Wealth is well known to be a great comforter 